Good day, Bedford View Methodist Church family. Once again, welcome to our Wednesday devotion, the time where we connect and the time where we learn more about the Word of God. So I thought today, since last Wednesday, I did not wear my heritage attire, so let me then this uh, Wednesday wear my heritage attire, just to remind us about our diverse uh, heritage, uh, our diverse community here at, at BMC. So friends, let us then begin with the word of prayer. Father, I come before your throne of grace this morning. I give you praise and glory, Heavenly Father. So I pray that you lead and guide this devotion. Be with each and every person that is watching. May they be blessed by your word. May they be challenged by your word. May I also be blessed and challenged by your word during this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So friends, our reading for this morning is Psalm 26, verse 1 to 3. As you know, I usually take a psalm from Sunday's lectionary reading, which is for this week is Psalm 26, verse 1 to 3. It reads as follows. Sorry. I opened the book of Job. I'm thinking, what is going on here? <laughs> I've turned on the book of Job. Please forgive me for that. Let's go back to the right place, which is Psalm 26, verse 1 to 3. I've got it right now. Psalm 26, verse 1 to 3. Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. Friends, this is the word of God, and thanks be to God. Amen. Father, I pray that you open our hearts and our minds as we explore your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. So friends, for this morning, my thinking is, let us ask God to examine our hearts and our minds. Yes, I know we've spoken a lot about COVID, we've spoken a lot about challenges that we're facing, but I thought let us then now look inwardly and ask God to examine our hearts and our minds, just to see if we are still in the, on the right track with God. So that's why I've chosen this psalm then, when David says, Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Then he says, Test me, Lord, and try me. If what I've said is true, test me and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. For I've always been mindful of your unfailing love and lived in reliance with your faithfulness. So I guess then, the reason I'm saying let us ask God to examine our hearts and our minds is us asking ourselves these questions that I want to pose this morning. Are you still right with God? As a child of God, as a Christian, as someone who's given their lives to God, you know, as someone who's saved, as someone who's born again, are you still right with God? In other words, are you still connected to God? In other words, are you, do you still feel the presence of God in your life? Because the Bible challenges us that we must live a righteous life as God's people. If your answer is, I am not sure, then ask God to examine your heart and your mind. Are you still a child of God? When you look at yourself, do you consider yourself to be a child of God? Are you Christ-like? Now that you've given your life to God, or have you given your life to God? And this is the challenge that I'm posing for this week, that we, we not only ask God to examine our hearts and our minds, but we ourselves do a self-introspection and examine our own hearts and our own minds to see if we are still children of God, if we are still connected to God. Another question. Are you still living according to the will of God? Is your life directed by the Holy Spirit? Is your life guided by the Holy Spirit? Are you, are you obeying the will of God? Are you, are, are you obedient to what God wants you to do in your life? Because remember, friends, we are created to please God. We are created to worship God. We are created to live according to the will of God and be obedient to the will of God. 
So therefore, that's why I'm asking this question. Because now this week, I want us all to start examining ourselves, examining our minds and our hearts, and asking God to do the same. So that if your answer of this question is no, or I'm not sure, then we start then saying, let us focus, let us reconnect with God and live according to the will of God. <coughs> Excuse me. As David says here, for I've led a blameless life. Are you living a blameless life? When you look at yourself, are you able to overcome temptations that come your way? Do you treat others fairly? Do you do no harm to others? As, 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 as John Wesley has taught us, his method is to do no harm to others. A blameless life, meaning do, do you run away from sin instead of giving in to sin? Then examine yourself or ask God to do so. And lastly, do you still trust in God? Do you still trust in God? Especially now that we live in times of COVID. We are level 2, things are being bit eased. And you know, um, when you move around people, your surroundings, are you still trusting in God? That what we are going through, we will overcome it, God will overcome it. So friends, this is the week where I am challenging each and every one of you, each and every one of us to examine our hearts and our minds and then ask God to examine our hearts and our minds. And you do so by asking these questions, by answering these questions that I've asked. Are you still right with God? Are you still connected to God? Are you still a child of God? Are you living according to the will of God? Are you living a blameless life? Do you still trust in God? If your answer is yes to all of this, Continue to live that righteous life and continue to live according to the will of God and continue to trust in God. If your answer is no, friend, let me tell you, God is a forgiving God and a loving God. And all you need to do is to be honest with Him, go on your knees, confess, and God will forgive you. Then you pick up again and you move as a child of God. If your answer is you're not sure, it is the time to ask God to help you so that you may live a righteous life and a blameless life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I give you thanks and praise for your word. Thanks and praise for challenging us this morning as your people. May we then strive to live a righteous life and strive for perfection as your people. Bless us as your community. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Friends, have a blessed week. May God be with you as you continue to examine your heart and your mind and allowing God to do the same. May you be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.